Okay, we're outside. We're gonna take a walk down through the nature center. You can see the, uh, that's the bird blind behind me right there. And now we're gonna take a walk down through these trails. So, well, these are the trails going through the nature center. Now, this is January 31st, so we're right uh, at the end of January. There's snow everywhere, so it's not gonna be quiet walking down here, because every time you take a step in this stuff, it's a big crunch. But I'm gonna take you, give you a look down through here, and you can see where we're walking to. So, and if you see, the, uh, the trail goes all the way down, and off in the distance there, you can see the lake. And that's where we're gonna be walking down to the lake. So let's get started. Okay, we've made it down to the pond. They, you might be able to hear that. There's the geese over by the lake making a lot of noise. They're getting excited about something. But uh, here's a view of the pond while we're walking by it. Okay, we're coming up on the old spring house. This used to be the water source for the nature center. I don't think it is anymore. Uh, the old spring house used to be the water source for the, uh, for the old farmhouse up there. And uh, as the sign says here, uh, this is the uh, historic spring house. All the water in the spring house is, uh, is frozen. Now if you look in there you can see uh, kids are throwing sticks and stuff in there. But uh, had this been uh, back when people actually were using this for water, they probably would have treated this with a little more respect. But it's the way it is. Kids are kids. And uh, sometimes these things happen. So, if we go past the spring house here, you can see the, uh, there's a walk all the way down to the, to the lake. And you can see that this is like a boardwalk, so you gotta be kinda careful on it if there's ice and snow out here, cause, uh, you can slip pretty easy, so. I'm gonna shut the camera off while I'm walking down here. And as I said, uh, it's pretty slippy on this walk. Uh, I almost took a spill back there, but, uh. So, if you ever come up here on a, uh, when it's snowy out like this, you definitely want to be careful. Uh, this isn't somewhere you want to fall down and, uh, and bust your backside, or worse. So, uh, here we are, almost at the lake. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can get a good view of it. Okay, we're down here on the lake. So uh, I'm going to point the camera around and you can uh, take a look at it over the lake. I can see geese way at the farther end, so I may end up switching cameras to try to get you guys a better view of this. But it's beautiful down here. Um, really nice. Um, they've got some nice uh, benches down here to sit on and, uh, and they're pretty cool right here. So we can get comfortable and, uh, and relax. And uh, there's a view out over the lake. And I'm kind of free holding the camera here. So now the lake is frozen over. I don't know how thick it is. Um, and you can really tell it's just a lot of white out here. So it's probably super saturating the camera. And uh, you can tell it's quite a distance out over there. So let me see if I can uh, hold real still and try to. Zoom in out there on the geese. There we go. I think you can start seeing them out there. They're sitting out on the ice. Now I've been told by some of the birders out here that there are eagles out here. And I guess the eagles are... Uh, they, eat, they take one of the geese every once in a while and eat them. So maybe we'll be lucky and uh... All right, we're coming up here at the edge of the lake. This is one of my favorite spots. It's, uh, it's a good ways back into the woods along the lake. But uh, let, me give you a, let me give you a view of this. Uh, really nice scene here. You can see there's a couple beautiful benches here looking right out over the lake. 
and off to my left there's another bench up here and you can continue going down this way out along the lake but we're going to stop over here for a little bit we're still uh, on the other side of the lake from where the geese are and uh, we'll take a look out here and maybe I can get a steadier shot from here to uh, just to see uh, you know what kind of camera shots I can get so uh, hopefully we have some good video for you this really is a good spot here uh, really bright sun uh, it's about 29 degrees out here and uh, I imagine we have maybe a half hour of uh, sun before it starts setting on the horizon so I'm going to take advantage of this uh, I do want to get out of the woods here before it starts getting cold because once the sun drops over the horizon the temperatures are going to drop uh, drop pretty quick out here but uh, let me give you a view out over this beautiful Maybe I can get in here and manually set this. But one of the nice things about this, about this particular camera, is uh, it has stabilization on doing video. But the uh, video isn't quite as crisp as it would be on my 7D. But the 7D, the lens uh, that I'm using, has some reach, but it doesn't have a lot of stabilization when doing video. So we'll see what we can do. I'm going to switch cameras here. Okay, that's the view from the, uh, from the 7D camera. You can see it's a little crisper. And uh, let me stop this and try changing some settings here. Okay. Okay, I've changed the settings. Um, so we're not quite as saturated. You can actually see some definition in the snow uh, looking out over the lake. And uh, I can try to zoom in across the lake and see if we can actually get much definition out there. You can just barely see the uh, the keys sitting on the ice, and I'm so darn shaky. I really need to bring a monopod when I do this next time. And of course, I'm uh, I'm zooming out at 280 millimeters. So anytime you're trying to free hold a camera at 280, uh, it's quite a uh, quite a challenge. Okay, well we're out here sort of up at the end of the peninsula here. Now, you can hear cars. There's a highway out over this way. Uh, the main highway coming coming between the uh, lake out here at the Churchill Nature Center. But this is sort of up at the end. There's a bit of a peninsula that comes out here and goes back in. A little bit of a swampy area back here and then goes back over to the road. Um, so we're going to walk over here and Kind of take a look at, uh, at what we can see from up on this side. Well, kind of watch your footing out here. You never know, quite know what's underneath this uh, this ice. Ah, we're gonna get a pretty pretty good view of the geese from here. This is about as close as we can get to them from this side. And I'll try doing a zoom in. And there you can see the whole flock out in the middle of the ice. So far there's been no uh, no eagle sighting, at least nothing I can confirm was an eagle. Um, now I came out, I'm using my 7D, and this is the uh, a Tamron 17 to 280 millimeter lens. Um, it's not a bad lens, it's a good walking around lens. Obviously if you were uh, out here strictly for birding, uh, you might want to get a get a lens a little more 
stronger. I have a 400, a 100 to 400 millimeter uh, Canon L glass, which is nice. It's heavy. It's a, definitely a heavy lens for walking around. And the real serious uh, birders are coming out with, you know, coming out here with 500 millimeter and 600 millimeter lenses uh, with it with extenders. So, uh, you know, but. Uh, but this is just a nice, nice walk for me today. Coming out here on the, you know, along the lake. It's one of the most beautiful places around. Nice place to, uh, to de-stress of the stresses of life. And uh, I'm turning around here, so you're, I'm probably gonna light up pretty good here with the sun on me. But uh, it's a gorgeous area out here. One of my most favorite places in Bucks County. And I'm pretty lucky uh, yeah, I don't live that far from here, so I can I can be down here in about seven minutes and, uh, and walk out here and just enjoy myself. So it's a protected area. Um, no hunting or fishing allowed. Um, at least not, not from the banks of the nature center. Anyway, so enjoy it. The only, uh, the only thing that... You hear there's the traffic over here from the road. We're not that far. Maybe uh, we're about a uh, hundred feet from the from the highway over here, and you can hear the uh, the uh, jets flying over. Uh, we'll get air traffic, a lot of military stuff going up to McGuire, New Jersey, uh, which is north of here, and uh, there's also. Uh, Philadelphia International Airport uh, traffic will come up over on that so uh, there's a fair amount of jets flying over uh, once in a while there'll be a helicopter or plane so it always annoys me a little bit you know but uh, I guess that's just how life is today unless you really get out somewhere remote to get away from even the air traffic but uh, a little piece of nature a little treasure of Bucks County out here so uh, if you're in Bucks County I highly recommend stopping out here. Uh, check the uh, the Churchville Nature Center's website. They always have uh, activities going on throughout the year, and uh, it's a fun thing. Uh, maybe you'll find a nice activity to come down and participate in. A uh, lot of really nice people down here. So uh, anyway, oh, I hear the geese. Oh, there's some flying in. Let me see if I can catch these guys. I think they're coming in for a landing. Okay, let's see what we got. I want to catch these guys. Oh, you can definitely hear that. Uh... Well, I'll tell you what, focusing with this thing in on the sun is just about impossible. As bright as it is out here. Um... I've got two factors working against me. I got the brightness on the LCD screen, and then I'm wearing these uh, photo gray glasses, which uh, is making everything darker on top of it. So, yeah, if I pull the glasses up, I can kind of see a little bit. So, sorry about that. Oh, here comes a whole flack of them. Let me pull the glasses up and see what I can catch. Looks like they're all coming in for their landing. Here you can see them coming down. There they are. So, I have yet to uh, spot an eagle out here today. So I'll have to make sure Vince sees my video, even as I was out here looking. Uh, Vince is quite the birder. I'm sure he'll tell me I have to be out here earlier in the morning if I want to see the eagles. And so, uh, have to try to do do that before uh, before spring sets in and everything gets grown over. Um, anyway, 
pretty cool place out here. Yeah, it looks like the sun's getting a little closer, so probably if I start walking back, uh, walking back now, I could probably be back up, back up by the time sun sets. Um, it's not really that far, but uh, it's slow walking because of the uh, because of the snow out here. Okay, well with that, uh, thanks for stopping in to see the video. And uh, this is Mark Kiefer from the Churchville Nature Center on uh, one of my photo walks. So this is this is uh, what I do from time to time. Uh, a great stress reliever and always enjoy being out here to get good shots. See you guys.